Hello everyone. It's Saturday the 6th of April 2024. And while the cat's away, the mice will absolutely trash the house. And this mouse has trashed the house. The only reason I'm showing you the trash is because... Oh, these creaky floorboards. Um, the trash is being sorted. I'm sorting the trash. Oh, how many more times do I have to show you this and you think... He keeps showing us this mess and he, he says he's going to do something about it. And every time, nothing happens. Well... Oh, my television has turned on it. Oh, there's something wrong with the TV downstairs. I hate it. it keeps turning itself on. I've just turned it off. Right. Um, so I'm in uh, Mark's away for the weekend on one of his dirty weekends with his gay group. Well, not his gay group. I think they're called outdoor lads, but uh, most of them are older than lads. But um, I don't know. I think he's in Wales now. He's learning Welsh. He keeps going to Wales. I think he's got a Welsh boyfriend. Here we are. Oh, we've got the tumble dryer. I'm not sure if you've seen that yet. The tumble dryer is now up here, um, which is better than in the garage. But eventually, the tumble dryer will be going in the corner. Eventually. This year, this year, I'm determined. We can see some floor at the moment, but only because most of it's spread out. <laughs> across the uh, rest of the uh, second floor, first floor of the house. So I'm sorting, I've, I've sorted stuff in those boxes. So that corner is sorted. So I'm going to move along. I'm separating stuff I want to sell. Um, so there'll be a pile for selling. There'll be a pile for video making, then selling. Um, and eventually, we're going to get this clear enough. So Mark Mark wants a desk back. We sold the desk that was there, but he misses having a desk. So we'll either put another desk that side or the other side. I don't know, but he wants, he wants this room back. I said, well, he can have it back this year. Anyway, so I'm doing a lot of sorting out. So it means because he's away, I can sort of spread into his bedroom. Um, oh, it's just so, so depressing. It really is. I've had this ages. I don't know if I've used it. I might have used it. Did I use it at all? Oh, it's got all those in it. It's a Tefal cake factory. I must start using that or sell it. Uh, it's just a lot of this is going to go in the garage. The garage will take me half an hour to sort. Um, I've just been throwing things in there, but it's mainly empty boxes, so they can be flat packed, put out for recycling or kept. But um, so a lot of these these things, a lot of the boxes will be going into the garage. Um, that's all the um, cushions and things for the outdoor furniture. Um, the garden is still an absolute bog. They're bringing dirt in all the time. That's getting done in May, so hopefully. That situation will not be around for much longer. Having a boggy lawn, it's going to be better drainage and all new patio, raised lawn, etc. So that's happening in May, I think. So this is how we are. That's just packaging in there. Um, it's just, you know, I, th I thought I'd get up early feed the dogs have some breakfast today I, th I felt like some crumpets today and um crack on so in here in the bathroom we've got well that's that's all cleaned up ready to sell that floor washer that shark i don't want to keep that but i want to make another video of it just a maintenance video so once i've made a maintenance video cleaned it up that can be sold and that's the box for it and then, oh, that's the box for the Dyson that needs selling at some point. And then I've got some G-Tech. Oh, no, that's another shark. Um, I think I'll make a clean up or maintenance video for that and then sell that. 
and then I've got some G boxes for GTEC vacuums. I've got a whole load of GTEC vacuum bits in a big box. I've got to sort out what goes in what box and then probably sell, sell those. That's some Hoover spares that are going in the garage. That's a vacuum I need to finish a video for and sell. Um, and there's this boxes here. So yeah, I've got some GTEC boxes. What, what have we got to look at? I don't know why that telly's turned on. Oh, I certainly wouldn't have turned it on on BBC. Oh, I don't want Samsung TV Plus. I just want the live telly. Is it going to work now? Live TV. Is it going to work? Oh, here we are. Oh, it's that little man. The grumpy gardener. Oh, selling his rubbish. His deluxe suet pellets. Yeah, well, he can stick his deluxe suet pellets up his tight little arsehole, I say. Oh, he's got an awful... He's awful. It's not my cup of camo. Little suet pellets that you can see that top of my finger on. And these here. These are quite long. These are full of beef tallow. Birds can choke. These are short chop. Three... Well, I've never seen long suet pellets like that. Mine are like those ones he's flogging. I bet they're the same ones I get from Home Bargains for a fraction of the price. Uh, five kilograms of deluxe suet pellets. How much? Five pound eighty for seventeen pound forty plus five a postage. F off. F off, grumpy gardener. I'm a grumpy viewer. I'm switching you off. Let's just quickly see what they're selling on that Tat Ideal World channel. That is the vilest. I've not bought anything since they've changed hands. Oh, it's not this beauty crap. Look at all this rubbish. Uh, who uses a who what, oh it's not i thought was, i thought she was putting a knife on is it this weird woman with the lip filler she's always selling rubbish spots around uh, the lips or the lines around the lips that looks like a hand uh, uh, that's not lips i know ladies have more than one set of lips don't they but that's not uh, not either set she's not rubbing that on lip allure that's called and she's using it on a hat silly cow are you wanting to go out? Oh. Can't mow the lawn, it's a bog. Look at this mess. I've had to put tea towels down to get the worst. Look, dog, dog paws. Oh, it's not too bad in here. I did at least empty the dishwasher and fill it last night. I've got the spider plant there because I've just watered it and I've started feeding. It's time to start feeding the house plants now. So they're coming on okay. That's huge. I got that one. I don't know what's happening with that. Something's coming out of it. I got that from Aldi. But these, that's starting to grow. And I've got a money tree there. And this, this was from that patch. If you remember my patch video, that was a lot smaller. Um, oh, this, this, is, this needs repotting, this fern. That's normally in the living room. I bought this because um, it is now time to start feeding plant the house plants. What's this called? It's called Plant Smith House Plant Feed and Tonic. So they've been getting a bit of that, and um, there's a plant there. It used to, it just started trailing, so I thought, oh, I'll put it up the top there, and that's starting to grow a bit now. I don't know if that's a cheese plant or something, but it's a bit bare here, but there are signs that new leaves are coming. Oh, that's just all to get rid of. Mark got a gusto delivery yesterday, even though he's not here. He forgot to cancel it, didn't he? What are you doing, dogs? It's just so wet and muddy that there's a bit of mud. I keep... You going to? Oh, you put the mud. Yeah, you putting the mud. Keep on there. Keep the mud on there, Molly Moo. Oh, that's just a bag of rubbish. Um, so, oh yes. Yeah, so this uh, this box here is all G Tech. It's well, oh, it's not all G Tech. Some G Techs. I hope these work. That oh, still works. Um, there's two of these in there and there's other I just need to sort out what goes in what box so I can clean them up and sell them or finish a video oh what's that oh 
I think that's some bags. Oh, that's not that's not a G Tech. That's a a turbo head. So that goes elsewhere. I've got my uh, my new Mathmos doodars. Now the thing is with those, I didn't realise when I bought them. Not all tea light candles work with those. So I had some like cheap ones. They didn't work at all. I mean they they lit, but they didn't get hot enough to make the the wax melt so the best ones are for math moss although they're out of stock at the moment but they're the most expensive i think about 30 quid for 80 although if you spend a certain amount you can get 30 percent off or something they're the best the ones you get supplied but the second best i found if you're interested oh oh i've just nearly tripped over oh everything's going wrong oh just go away molly let's wait a minute let's close this door um this brand from amazon oh i've dropped it bowl oh, drop two bolsius they seem okay they're not they're not as good as the ones mathmos supply apparently i think they used to recommend ikea ones to folk so next time i'm at ikea um if i ever go to ikea again i might try the ikea ones but i've got tons and tons of cheapo tea lights i say that don't work don't work with it at all oh um so yeah as you can see i've been doing some filming i've had to wash the carpet because as i said daisy's been a bit naughty she's weed she's been to the vet um she's had a blood test she seems okay she hasn't had any accidents so far recently but she's weed on the sofa twice last week and it went right through this right through into the uh, padding so that had to come off but she weed on me and then she's weed on mark as well she's weed on mark's bed so he's had to get get rid of his duvet he was going to take it to the dry cleaners his duvet but i said how long have you had it five years he said I said, well, just get a new one because, you know, you've had it five years. Um, they don't cost much. Just get a new duvet. And I said, once they've cleaned it at dry cleaners, or whatever, it might have the chemicals in it and blah, blah. So anyway, so um, he's put a summer weight quilt on already. I think it's a bit premature. But so I said, well, remember, before you need a new quilt in the autumn, well, get a new quilt. Hey, Molly Moo. So everything is an absolute shit tip. I've just been watching this, um, although I've overdosed rather. I remember this from the 90s, Dame Edna's Neighbourhood Watch. I remember seeing this. I don't know if I saw both series, but I did find it funny, although when I've seen it again, um, it's still funny, but I don't know. I was I, I binged it a bit, so I think that's probably why. I've still got some more to watch of... Uh, series two apparently these were both filmed both series were filmed concurrently but um put out you know at different times that was so because if they'd filmed the first series and then put it out and then filmed a second series after people would know what's going to happen so basically they take three women out of the audience to take part in this uh, quiz show but one of the women they've actually got access to her house and there's a camera there and Madge, um, Dame Edna's sidekick, is there. And they rummage through the house. And you could they, they, it's quite funny, I have to say. But that's, I think these, these DVDs, these were from Amazon. Not Amazon, eBay. I think these DVDs are homemade. They, they seem, you know, I've, I've got enough DVDs to, know, DVDs to know. I think these have been recorded off the TV. It looks like that like you know recorded using a dvd recorder and and these have been made up i don't really think they're official they look pretty good but it's just the picture quality and there's some glitches um that you don't normally get with professional dvds these were i think they were 10 pound each but i was offered a discount so i got them for eight pound each and then a reduced postage so basically i got these for 20 quid delivered 10 pound each which isn't bad but compared to, this is what I've recently bought, Motherland. 
And I've just found out, sadly, they're not having any more. That's it now. No more series of Motherland. Um, so, you know, I really enjoyed that. So I wanted to get the box set of Motherland. Didn't we, Daisy? My plants are doing well. Um, I've just recently given these a bit of a polish with some special plant. Oh, does it me? That's the drawers for my... Um, things I'm going to give away and that plant yeah that plant's not doing bad and that plant I've got a few upstairs that aren't doing quite so well I need to need to ow you so and so oh that's that's one of me me balls I wondered why I only had two I have three balls right I'm off right now just go to sleep focus you go to sleep and you go to sleep because Daddy's busy. Oh, Daddy needs his iPad. Oh, I'll take it up in a minute. Well, folks, within five minutes of me putting down the camera, I heard a noise at my letterbox and found this had been pushed through my slot. Now, I have been expecting an Amazon delivery, but it's not due until tomorrow. I've had to order, and this is me. This is me all over. This is typical me. I've had to order another SCART lead. You'd have to be a certain age to know what a scart lead is. I've ordered a scart lead, um, some phono leads to connect an old tape deck to my new amplifier and um, something else, another lead. Anyway, some leads for my equipment. And I've got had boxes and boxes of leads as we normally do. You know, it's one of those things. We always have loads of paper bags, a drawer full of random crap and adapters and leads and connectors for things that we don't know what they belong to so I did have a bit of a splurge got rid of stuff um, and then I realized I, st I still need a scart lead so I bought you know I didn't go mad and buy a really expensive one it's about 12 quid because I needed to connect one of my oldest DVD recorders up to my TV that still has a scart it does it's quite old so it doesn't even have an HDMI it's my only DVD recorder that doesn't have an HDMI output so I had to buy a new SCART. So I thought, oh, that's what this was. But it isn't. It isn't. When I opened it, I thought, I don't remember ordering those. It's three DVDs. Whoops. We've got, I need, I can't tell you, two doors down, it's sort of like dinner ladies. It's something I can watch over and over again and still laugh at. So this this is Two Doors Down Series 6. You can watch Two Doors Down and I can watch it on iPlayer whenever I want to. But I still like to have the physical media just in case, you know, um, because I want to, to be able to enjoy it if it's if it comes off iPlayer or something happens. So this is Series 6 of Two Doors Down and this is Series 7. Is that the last series so far? Or have there been another one after that? I don't know if it's been eight. Um, dee 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 dee. I can't remember, but anyway, I, I've got. I think I've got them all now, because of course I've got the earlier, earlier ones. So two doors down. I highly recommend that. And then this is something I I remember from my childhood. A BBC. Um, children's show called The Phoenix and the Carpet. Four children discover a strange egg hidden in an old Persian carpet in this classic adaptation of Inez Bitt's acclaimed children's story. The eight-part drama was first broadcast on the BBC in 1976. A family buys an old carpet from a junk shop in Edwardian London, which when unrolled reveals a large shiny egg. One of the boys accidentally knocks the egg into the fire. A charming talking phoenix emerges and he has the power to grant their wishes. With the magic carpet now laid out in their playroom, their fantastic adventures are about to begin. The children soon find themselves transported to distant lands and faraway places, including a tropical desert island. Closer to home, they take the Phoenix on a tour of London, where a surprise awaits, and a family trip to the theatre has unexpected results. So that's that's going to be something I will look forward to. Re reliving my uh, childhood, watching that again. So yes, I wasn't expecting these lovely gifts, 
And you are very naughty, Sue. Sue has sent me these, so I've got, we've got uh, some notes. Have we got a note for each item? Right, oh well, she's, <laughs> sorry Sue. No, no need to read this out. Well, I'm, I, I didn't see that, so I'm gonna read it out. No need to read this out. Just wanted to treat you to something to say. Thank you for sharing all the R-L-A-S-O TV footage. Very comforting, lots of love from Sue. So as some of you know, the um, the vintage footage that I am uploading, you know, every week now for weeks and weeks, started, um, it was for Sue, and then Mandy, her sister, started watching it. Um, and like I said, I've mentioned it earlier, didn't I? So um, it's because it was like a video diary thing. It was just the sort of, I did it once a year, sometimes twice a year. Um, but I'm so glad I did thank Sue. I mean, if it wasn't, if I didn't have anyone to send these to, um, there would have been no need to film them and I wouldn't have had that footage. And it's, it's, it's lovely to watch myself. And I've had to make some edits due to copyright reasons. Um, I, you were going to be treated to an overdubbed version of Home and Away, which was quite disgusting, really. Um, but that was blocked. Certain things, so it's these videos I'm putting up, I I, I digitise them. I'll, I'll make a separate video of how I'm doing it, I think, maybe. So I take the VHS, digitise them, put them up on YouTube, do a little bit of editing, and then, you know, upload them as private, and then I watch them myself on my big telly, just, to, you know, before they go live. But once they're uploaded, even if they're private, you'll get a notification if there's any problem with the copyright. So sometimes it it means that I don't earn any money. The video's still up, but even if it's just a few seconds of music that's in the background, the video can be unmonetized for that. But in some cases, like in the case of me doing an episode of Home and Away and dubbing over my voice, um, that was blocked. Nobody could see it in any country. So I can't upload that footage and there was there was something else. But for some reason it allows me to do Neighbours. So there's a couple of Neighbours episodes where I've uh, dubbed over very immature and juvenile dubbing, I must say. Um, there's an episode of EastEnders I was allowed to. I've got an episode of Birds of a Feather, but I think I might have had trouble with that before. So it's odd. You just don't know what's going to cause a copyright strike. So... Um, you are seeing mostly everything, but it's, as I said, there are edits only down to copyright reasons, really. And I've, I've, I've tidied up a little, a few of the sort of um, transitions between, you know, segments on my videos. I've cleaned them up a bit in my editing. So it's, you know, obviously these were filmed way before the internet, way before YouTube. Um, so... And, and that's why I've divided them into smaller sections because there's no way people will watch three or four hours of these videos. Right, so that's the first gift note. Um, another, here's the other one. I couldn't leave this after getting series six. Ah, oh, right, so this must be about uh, two doors down, series seven. Um, now I've said that I hope you're opening series six first. Thank you for keeping me company with all your videos. Love all your content. Lots of love from Sue. And then the final one, me again, as you have given me a trip down memory lane with R-L-A-S-O-T-V, I wanted to give you a trip down memory lane too. Thank you, Roger, lots of love from Sue. So that'll be the old Phoenix and the carpet. Well, Sue, you know, as I said, I've been, you know, I know you're going down memory lane, looking at all these old videos again that I sent you, but of course I'm going down memory lane as well. Um, watching them. Um, Sue's been very kind with commenting on those uh, old videos. I, I do find them quite, some of it quite awkward to watch, to be honest. Um, but I'm now into editing uh, tape four. So yes, the hairline's going. <laughs> it's going in tape four. I think my hair looked best, I think, in... Uh, yeah two and two and three especially after i had it cut there's one 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 tape where it's a bit long at the beginning and then near the end i've, I've just been to the uh 
the local uh, barbers in my village where I used to live and it's it's looking nice the woman kept wanting me to have highlights as was the style in the 80s but I never did I used to have a cut and blow dry so um back back in the day I remember yes going and getting you know getting my hair washed in those backward sinks and then she'd cut it and then you know gel it up and blow it dry and it would be a bit sort of spiky and I was looking at myself in a in a denim jacket at the end of one of the tapes I think oh you didn't look bad then Rog you didn't look like such a troll that you look like now uh, but I didn't realize I, I, I didn't look bad because I don't think you do I think a lot of people will be able to um, identify with that when you see pictures of yourself younger and you think oh crikey I wasn't bad but then when you're at that age you have no confidence in how you look and I certainly didn't I still I never have had um, there's been occasions where I've looked at myself not not obviously not in recent years but there's been occasions where I've looked glanced in the mirror and thought oh you don't look bad and from a distance well folks it's several days since I started filming this video so I'm just going to wrap it up here I have started another vlog today where I'm baking a cake doing washing you know same old same old um, I'll be getting a Morrison's delivery you'll be seeing that in another video because if I tag what I'm doing today onto this one it's going to be over an hour long and you're not going to watch me for an hour no way Jose we've also got two visitors today here's one of them just for the day little willows come mm. look little willow little willow and uh, Lottie who's in the kitchen in her little carry case slash bed so um, I thought I've been editing this video and I thought right no that's already too long I can't add this so you're gonna see another vlog filmed today it's all very confusing just just try not to think about it it, it makes my brain hurt so anyway the washing machine's about to click into spin um, my cake is nearly finished I can smell it, it smells lovely and um, I've got a few bits to do today so that's for another vlog and I've got some an, another video I want to film for this channel which isn't a vlog it's more of a product review another product review one thing I'll, I'll, I'll point out I don't know if you'll notice in the video but um, in the section of the video where I'm thanking Sue for the DVDs I didn't realize that my I don't know which one one of my ears was bleeding um, it's because I'd shaved that day and I must have seen a little hair on my lobe and I sort of went over it. Oh, my cake's ready. I went over it with the uh, razor and must have nicked it. So it was only after I'd filmed that section when I looked in the mirror and saw all, all this dried blood on my earlobe. I thought, oh, heck, I don't know how noticeable it is. So don't be concerned. I haven't been trying to pierce my ears. Um, it's just I didn't notice during the filming. So... Uh, if you've if you've written in to to voice your concern about the fact I was bleeding um, it's it's fine it's all healed up now right so my ovens ping in I've got to get that cake out otherwise it'll be burnt so um, tune in soon for the follow-up to this video bye for now